Hello, my name is Emmett Hoensey with Radio Waves, and we're here over at Jim Connolly's house today. He has a Mars version of our Saturn antenna. And what we're going to do is we're going to install a simple multi-radial counterpoise. This is what we call our fat counterpoise system. The neat thing about the Saturn antenna is it's quite stealthy, and as you can see up here in the background, the antenna itself, you can, very bar you can barely see it. And during the summertime, you won't see this antenna at all. The interesting thing about a grounding system is that even though you might have a very, very good ground, you may have a good power ground, but you may not have a good signal ground. The idea of putting in this counterpoise is to enhance the signal capabilities of the Saturn antenna and lower the noise level. So if you want to come on and follow me, we'll show you kind of want to give you a good idea of what we're getting ready to do. The main objective is, is we're going to place a simple ground rod. It doesn't have to be a big one, just a simple ground rod, pretty much at the point just below the antenna itself. And we're going to go back up. You'll notice you got the wire coming up and connecting to the antenna. Okay, the ground radials, these are special radials that we make at Radio Waves. They're thick. Okay, most people are have the mindset of using a, a simple thin wire, which in many cases is fine, but believe it or not, a thicker ground wire does make a difference when it comes to noise level. Each one of these wires are bundled separately and they're sealed so that when they're buried, no water will permeate inside the cable itself. You can see we've got it all sealed. Then we have a little ground pigtail on the end of it. The idea being is that we want this to last for many, many, many years. So what we're going to do is throughout the afternoon is we're going to go ahead and do this install. We'll show you how it works and we'll get some ideas about uh, the differences between the, the ground plane with the, with the radio station with the ground plane and the radio station without a ground plane. Thank you. Today, the crew is Emmett Hohensee IV, Mark Drosty, Montana. <laughs> he is the second son. And here, this is Jim. Jim, say hello to everyone on YouTube. Hello to everyone on YouTube. This is Jim, in 0 OBG, and my Mars call sign is Alpha Alpha Romeo Alpha Juliet. Thank you. Now, you can show my, some of my other yeah. hidden antennas. Yes, these are other his other hidden antennas, because he is in a, a definitely a neighborhood where his antennas are not to be seen. And he hides them very well. This is a great example of, of how to put together an, a simple antenna radio station in a deed-restricted area. And he's done a very good job of it. In the summertime, his neighbors will never know that there's a radio station running here. Okay, boys, uh, the donuts are all uh, finished. You guys are ready to put some ground rails in. <laughs> That's probably going to be kind of hot. Yeah.
the, uh, the original signal level was in between 110 and 120. And as you can see, it's down below 120 as far as the noise level is concerned. Let me turn it in there. considerably down there. I mean, it's, it's down at the bottom of the, the grid. Let's go to the, to the uh, 3.9. Yeah, it was like about 90. Just like as I recall. You're down 104 to... It's actually below that. It's so. below that, yeah, you can see it on 100. So your noise level went down considerably by putting in that little ground radio. Now here is a... Uh, how's that? Okay. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Looks like it's a pretty good SWR there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So would you say that the ground plane had an effect on your dipole? I would say the ground plane had an effect on my ground, uh, on my dipole. Excellent. Hi. Thank you. Well, it looks like we've got the ground system installed. And what the neat thing about this whole system is, is we discovered that we've reduced our noise level about 10 dB. So the, the noise level of the, of the ground counterpoise system has reduced things about 10 dB. So we've gone from, in some areas where the noise floor was like minus 90, we're now down to minus 110 and 120, which is excellent. So it pretty much did exactly what we wanted it to do. It also affected the overall antenna system by allowing the system internally to tune a little bit more, give him a little bit more broader range. He can hear things that he hasn't been able to hear before. Now, just so we can summarize some of the things that we've done, just follow me and I'll show you what we did down here and then we'll also show you the different radials and how they worked out. So come on down. What you're going to see down here is we've attached two small ground rods. They don't necessarily have to be there, but we put them there just to, you know, for, for signal purposes. And they are attached by a braided strap to each ground rod. So each radio, each ground radial clump or um, each ground radial cluster, which runs out in multiple directions, as you can see, we just used a simple edger to run along the different areas and now it's 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 all in place and within about a week or two this all these little radial areas are all going to disappear now what's really nice is that we've now attached the uh, the cable or the ground to the cable right here and what he's going to eventually do is he's going to put an ATU so the idea too sometimes is to if you can put your tuner outside you're better off keep your issues outside instead of bringing them inside well anyway this was fun Hope this was educational. This is Emmett Hohen, see you with Radio Waves, and you have a great day.